Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome to Chocolate Factory Simulator. This is a playtest, the game's not out as, as yet, uh, but I have been given the opportunity by the devs to playtest the game. And it's a short demo, so uh, we'll see how far we can go with it. That said, it is a Chocolate Factory Simulator uh, based in a steampunk environment, so it should be great. So let's get stuck in. All right, we'll start a new game. I haven't had a look at this at all yet, so I am not a uh, new event in the world. Production, okay, first steps. Welcome to your very own chocolate manufacturer. Create delicious confections with various whimsical designs. Sell them to customers who each have their own specific tastes and requirements. Develop your workshop and become a household name known to every airship. Take your first order. Use the telephone hanging on the wall to take your first order. All right. Uh, telephone. Okay, Mr. Hawk wants a chocolate bar. Okay, so he wants it's an easy one. Bit of chocolate, tempered product type, chocolate bar, quality, basic weight, 100. All right, cool. Uh, we accept. Okay, spectacular news, chocolatier. We have received our first order. Go and pick up the ingredients so that we may start our first creation. Remember that you may only hold one object at once. Okay. So that's in here then. How, actually, how awesome does this game look? It is really, really pretty. We have a robot, Nuga. All right. Sure, we'll see something about that. So, uh, pick up. Boom. All right. Okay, pouring. While holding the ingredients, interact with the container in which you want to pour them. Use the mouse to adjust the pouring speed. The slower you pour, the more precise the measure will be. Okay. Okay, so we have cocoa powder. We have a task bar at the bottom, a shortcut bar. Uh, it also wants a jar of cocoa. Uh, that's cocoa butter. Yes, that's the one. So we can, can we pick that up? If we are close enough, yes, we can. And then sugar. And we're close enough. Come on. Oh, I have to change the task bar. Okay. So I have to actually select the physical slot that it needs to go into before I can pick it up. All right. Use your mouse wheel to get through that bar. All right. So what do we want to do now? Uh, add cocoa to the pot. 40 grams of cocoa to the pot. So cocoa. Uh, pour. Oh, and then you move your mouse. Three, four, five. Okay, so it can pour really fast and back it off eight nine and 40. cool add the cocoa butter which is number two all right hold on how do we get out of this ah no, not like that there must be another way okay so cocoa butter we need 40 as well I feel like I'm missing the pot. Okay. Um, then I press three, it doesn't work. Roll the mouse, it doesn't work. X doesn't work. Q doesn't work. Oh, just got to click again. Just got to left click again. Right, and then we need the sugar. So we'll grab the sugar. Another 40. Oh, this is only 20 grams. Oh, this is quite cool. Right. Okay, so uh, next. Pick up uh, three bags of coal. All right, I can do that. This is the coal. One, two, two, three. Okay, machines need power. Your machines need steam to work. To create pressure, put some coal in the furnace. To properly distribute the power to individual machines, use the valves located in the boiler room. Remember to turn off the valves of the machines that you're not currently using. This will save energy. Nice. All right, so this way then. And there's our furnace. Open the door. Put inside. And... 
pull the furnace starter. Am I supposed to close the door? Yes. Uh, that's the starter. It says choke. Set a heater valve to the optimal level of 60%. So... Right, that's done. Pick up the pot. All right, picked up. Place the pot on the stove. Put. Turn on the heater using the valve. Uh, and it must get up to between 40 and 55 degrees. Okay, so how are we doing? What's the oh, temperature is? 20, oh, there you go, it's starting to climb. Okay, so somewhere between 40 and 55 degrees, I need to stop. Um, that must be the spatula. It's going really slowly. Maybe I should open it a bit more. All right, now it's going fast. All right, so I think maybe, I don't know. Um, let's let it go to about 50 degrees then. Maybe I should stop it earlier. I uh, don't want it getting too hot. All right, we're at 47, 48. Let's do it here. Wow, it doesn't slow down quickly. Uh, it's at 51. Ooh, still going up. Let's take it down to 10. Okay, it's at 51.2. Seems to be fairly stable. Pick up the spatula and use. Ah, hang on. <laughs> okay, I see. And then you just got to fill that wheel up. Stir until the wheel is filled up. There you go. Okay, we've made it. Turn off the heater. Uh, right. Uh, there. Turn off the heater. Okay, that's closed. Close the valve supplying the heater. Yeah, that was in here. Cool. Quest completed. Set the valve to the optimal level of 60%. All right, wait, that's, that's another valve. All right, that's set. Uh, select the chocolate shape. Is that it there? Use. Okay, chocolate cubes. Cool. Shape the... Oh, that's for the press. Okay, open the press with the wheel reel. That's this one here. Pour the liquor from the pot. The liquor, is it? Okay, pour. Ninety grams. Okay, so you can fiddle it and be gentle. Eight, nine, ninety. Okay, um, let me put this down. Drop. There we go. And then close the press. Start the press, which is this one. And then wait. It does take a little while. Uh, what perfection? Okay, so we need to open this, I suppose. What? A perfectly sublime chocolate bar. Not one flesh where will be able to resist such a sweet confection. And I missed the rest. Okay, so we're going to pick that up. And then what? Set packing machine valve to the optimal. Uh, does that mean that we should close this one? I want to do that while I'm holding the chocolate. Maybe I need to drop it. So let's go and drop the chocolate. There we go. And grab that and open it up. 60. Place the chocolate bar in the packaging area. All right, right there. Choose packaging. 
Okay, open. Simple box. Uh, and start the packaging machine and wait for it to finish. Okay. Magnificent, we have a... Oh, there we go. We're, uh, we have a chocolate bar ready for devouring. Gosh, okay. Put the package into the shipping machine. Uh, shipping mach machine. That's... Uh, oh my word, look at that. This really is a pretty game. All right, uh, open the door. Uh, put chocolate bar in. Start the machine. A uh, closed door. Start the machine. And we've got an Amazon delivery service. by balloon. Uh, and wait for the Zeppelin to pick it up. Oh, is that what's happening? We have a Zeppelin. I don't see as well there's oh here we go. Now how are you gonna do that? Oh and it drops over the balloon. Oh very cool. That's amazing. Hundred percent? Yeah, baby. Thank you, Mr. Hawk. Right. Your reputation's increased by 50. Your current reputation is now 80. Uh, those messages really go very quickly. Pick up a wrench. Work is not done. Uh, tighten any loose bolts on the press. Ah. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, so that's one. Um, so the others. Yep, there are. And another. And another. Uh, this is this is quite a thing. I assume you're going to be able to employ people or something. Because you're not going to be doing too well. Oh, there's another customer phone call. Um, yeah, dude, I won't answer until I put the wrench down. Right, where did the wrench go? Yeah. Why can I not put the wrench down? Oh, maybe it's supposed to stay on me. Okay, so let's go see what the next order is. Uh, it's a writer. He wants a chocolate bar, milk chocolate. Easy additives, almond. Okay, good. Quantity, yeah, okay, good. We, we accept. So, what are we supposed to do here? Pick up the mortar. Use mortar and pestle to grind ingredients to obtain the desired texture. Add to chocolate, add the ground ingredients to the chocolate. Remember that the perfect chocolate bar weighs 100 grams. Therefore, if you want your chocolates to contain contain 20 grams of nuts you need to pour 80 grams of liquid chocolate into the press form ah okay so place the mortar under the almond dispenser yeah that's where it's taking me almond dispenser what else have we got here that looks like strawberry yeah uh pistachio cinnamon and additive I have no idea what that is. Yeah, it's just additive. All right, so we, we need to put it over here. Put four almond into the mortar, 20. Hold and push. Oh, there we go. <gasps> oh, hell. No, that's way too much. Can I undo that? Go on. Okay, I think I might have overdone it. All right, so drop it there. Wait, so am I supposed to do something? Grind. So this is how we do it. Alright, so we want the consistency to be fine. 
And what is the consistency now? Course, okay. Then we keep doing that. And grind and grind and grind. And it's now consistency medium. All right, so I suppose the next step will make it fine. All right, that is done. Uh, nobody likes living in dirt. Use the garbage chute to get rid of empty packages or contents from dishes. I suppose it's the pot. I have to get rid of stuff in the pot. Okay, so... Uh, garbage chute? Anyone? That looks garbagey. Uh huh. There we go. Um, poor. That one. Right. Uh, empty pot. Now we're going to go and do stuff with it. So we head back. Uh, cocoa powder. We need twenty-three. Then we need twenty-three cocoa butter. Okay. That's done. Powdered milk. 17, huh? Oh, sugar. That's, that's sugar. Okay. Uh, but I didn't see milk. All right. Well, let's get the sugar in. We want 17 grams of that. All right. Uh, I think I have to find powdered milk. Is that it? That's a bottle of milk. Bag of coal, bag of coal. Well, that's the only milk. Is this powdered milk? I don't know, but we're going to give it a shot. I've already messed up the almonds, so it doesn't matter. Uh, 23. Yep, it's powdered milk. Oh, wait, I only need 17 of this one. All right, we got 17 of that, and then add 20 grams of almonds. Now, oop, I can... I can do it. Okay, pick up. Pour. Oh, good. I can measure it out, so that's not, not a big problem. So we need 20 grams. Come on. Just a little more. There we go. Okay, make an 80... Uh, make 80 gram of milk chocolate in the pot. All right, I'm going to drop that over there. In the pot... Oh wait, that means I need to go and close some valves and open some valves. What's this one? Uh, that's open at 60, so let's close that one down. And this one needs to go... Wait, what's, the, what's this one at? This is also open to 60, we don't need that. Yeah, this is the one we want. And we'll open that to 60. Cool. This is open. Let me pick up my pot. Put it on the stove. Heat up. I think it's the same. All right, that starts moving. Good. Speed that up a little bit. I'll do the same thing as we did last time. Just get to around about uh, 48 and then slow it right down. It does take a short moment to get there. Okay, we're close enough. Uh, let's slow that right down to 10%. Are we doing now? 49.8, that seems good. Okay, pick up the spatula and use it. The temperature's good. I wonder what happens if we mess it up. Ah, Eureka! Gears and pistons of creation have aligned perfectly. Behold, a new and exquisite ingredient has been forged. What marbles shall... Yes. That. Uh, turn the valve. Uh, let's... Uh, we've got to put the spatula down first. Valve closed. Pick up the pot. Head over to the press. Pour it in. 80 grams, they said. Oh, there we go. There we go. 79, 80. Done. Let's put this down. And close the press. Oh, right. Yes. We need the next wheel. Um, 
Okay, so we need to close this one and open this one to 60. There we go. Okay, this is all closed. It's all ready. Do we have to go and select? Uh, we'll load that one. Good. And boom. Now let's see if I've messed this up. A chocolate bar. A milk chocolate with almond. Cool. All right. So we're going to go and put it over here. Put. Uh, select pattern. Load. And. Oh wait. I need to change valves again. So this one closes. And this one opens to 60. Come on. Here we go. And well, I've picked the packaging because we don't have too many options. Here's a decorating table. Packaging design table. Oh, hang on. Uh, use. So we can actually change the packaging. Rectangle, rectangle with width. Rectangle with transparent triangle. Rectangle with label. Okay, let's do that. And we'll grab the element and pop it over there. A uh, chocolate, a bit of dirty chocolate, I suppose. I don't know what that is. Is this another spot? Since this is what we are selling anyway. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. Well, that's pretty simple. And it's got blueprints, so we can actually save these. Uh, new packaging, we'll call it Milk Choc. Box. There we go. Save. Now, does that mean I'll go over here and I open package? Oh, it does. So I can load that. All right. So I can change colors and all sorts of stuff with the packaging. What does a decorating table do? Uh, no interaction. So we can't actually do anything with that in this part of the game, in this version of the game. All right. Cool. Well, let's uh, let's do this thing. And wait for our chocolate to get packaged. There it is. Pick that up. I uh, suppose we take it outside for delivery again. Open the door, put it in, close the door. Shipping. Awesome. Yep, it comes in from the same direction every time. Actually, I wonder what we earn. Where, where's the money? Is there money in this? I'm sure there is. I mean, it is sort of a business type sim. And the writer is very happy. 100%. Awesome. Right, what's next? Oh, this is the end of the demo version. Thank you for playing the demo version of Chocolate Factory Simulator. If you enjoyed the game, we highly encourage you. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. They've got... Uh, you can take a survey. Check out the publisher. Pretty sure they've got a Discord somewhere. Cool, and then it just takes you back to the main menu. That looks like it's going to be a really fun game. So yeah, that's it. If you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe at the bell icon for notifications. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, it should be fun. Uh, it looks very interesting. A bit of running around. I assume that you'll get an employee or maybe you'll be able to use that robot at a later stage. There are links for the Discord, uh, which I can't give you right now. Uh, if I manage to get it, I'll pop it in the description. But thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, cheers!